This video will have several human teams taking on computer question answering systems. If you want more details about what's going on, take a look at our other video, link in the description. Uh, we have five human teams, A, B, C, D, and E. We'll jump between the different teams, they all answered the same questions against the same computer opponents, and we'll show you the team's final standings at the end. Uh, because we didn't ask teams the same number of questions each time, we computed the points per question heard statistics so that we could normalize who had the most points against the computer. Given that there are five teams, we're going to spend a little bit more time on the teams that did better in the matches. This was my favorite question of the night from Team A, uh, where a player from LA personally knew uh, the answer to the question, but didn't quite get the answer out. It also shows the ambiguity of some of these questions. Okay. Um... Question number three, who played the medical examiner on the first six seasons of Hawaii Five-0? And this is new Hawaii Five-0, right? Yes, exactly. Hmm. I don't know this, so I'm going to guess B.D. Wong? Oh, uh, uh, that, that is a good guess, but uh, incorrect. Let's see what this guy has to say. Daniel Day Hyun Kim. Uh, not uh, the correct answer. Uh, yes, but they didn't play the, uh, so like the, the answers thus far have been on the right yeah. track, but not the correct role. Interesting. Um, cause I didn't even know if Beauty Wong was on the show cause I've never seen it. Um, so I'm sure they wouldn't cast more than two Asian men in <laughs> leading roles. Is it somebody who's just like in a few episodes or they're like, they just played the guy in the lab code and they don't really have a personality sort of thing. Maybe it looks like he belongs in Hawaii, but gets a lot of like work like that. How about John Cho? Okay, uh, no. Mazioka. Okay, and that is correct. So. Oh wait, was was Mazioka on Heroes? Uh yes, yes. Okay, this is super embarrassing because I have I have been on set with Mazioka. <laughs> <laughs> Like we were in the same scene and I did not know that because I haven't been following his career. Yeah. That's hilarious. Due to a technical glitch, Team D's recording started a little bit late. Uh, so we joined their game already in progress. They'll tell you how they were doing. Uh, just in time uh, also for them to note that many of the questions here are about popular culture. Indeed, these are popular questions that many people have asked online, so it is not surprising that many of the questions are about popular culture. I like the logic that they use here to figure out how old this video is but they don't quite have enough time to figure it out. Uh, they're also confused about whether himself would have been considered a correct answer if the answer were indeed Mickey Mouse, which is something that today's QA datasets cannot handle. So for the record, we've got all the questions right so far and the computers have been really struggling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, all right. Are you being sponsored by CBS? I <laughs> no, our lives is NBC. Uh, who narrates uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas? Chris. Danny Kay. Uh, that is incorrect. Himself. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, humans have 30 seconds. Yeah, wait, that's, that's seconds. Nice. Wait, wait, but did, did the computer answer himself? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, so it means not Mickey Mouse? Right. Yes. Maybe Goofy? Yeah, Goofy. Wait, does anybody, has anyone actually ever seen this? Nope. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I was like two. Well, what's your answer? Do you, do you know how old it is? <laughs> could it be okay. Donald Duck? Could, could it be Walt Disney? Yeah. It's not that old. It's not that old. <laughs> okay. Answer. Um, I would answer. Wait, we're going with. Oh. No, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, too late. Donald Duck. Uh, it's still incorrect. Uh, okay, humans uh, get to see search results. 
Yeah. Sis asking about character or the person playing the character, the voice or the character? I would go with the character. Oh, is Kelsey it Kelsey Grammer? Grammer? <laughs> is, is it? Yeah, this it, is not helpful. The, uh, the stories are linked together by narration from Kelsey Grammer. I think Kelsey oh, Grammer not gets it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Definitely oh. something two year old me would not have encoded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, our answer is Kelsey Grammer. And that is correct. Oh, that's charming. <laughs> Very charming. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, who was the first villain in Spider Man? Computer gets first crack. The chameleon. And that is correct. Oh, I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is for the humans. Who is the father of Canaan in the Bible? Preston. Is it Noah? Uh, no. Uh, computer gets to answer. Canaanites. Uh, <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, and so you have 30 seconds to discuss. So he's one of Joseph's brothers. So I think it's Jacob. No, that's not right. Jacob. Yeah. Why not? Sure. Uh, that is incorrect. Ham and grandson of Noah. Uh, and that is oddly phrased, but correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, Show up. I'm going to be a little lenient on the computer. It provides additional information that is also correct. In a real QA evaluation, though, this would be considered incorrect. We now go on to Team E, a team of NLP researchers, but who are not uh, trivia veterans. Here I showed a little bit of leniency on the human team, uh, letting through the answer China National Bank, because many countries' national banks are referred to in that way, uh, even though Rinmin literally means people. So question number six goes first to the computer. Uh, who played Apollo Creed in the original uh, Rocky. Carl Weathers. And that is correct for three points. What is the meaning of Zhongguo, Rinmin, Yin Han? Buzz in if you know the answer. Lucy. Um, China Bank, like China's National Bank. I'll take that. Uh, so three points. <laughs> Wait, what is the actual ordering of the... Uh, yeah, People's Bank of China. Oh, People's uh, Bank of China, okay. Sometimes computers and humans struggle for the same reason. Take this question about the book by Philip K. Dick titled The Man in the High Castle and the subject of the excellent Amazon series of the same name. What is the name of the man in the high castle? Buzz in if you know the answer. And time. Uh, computer gets to answer. Chevalier de Lhomme. That is incorrect. Uh, all right, humans have 30 seconds to discuss. You all know what castle? Like, like, I don't know what castle, but do you think it's like, um, so there's lots of castles I know about, like Bowser, doesn't he live in a castle? And then Dracula might live in a castle. Is the castle like a metaphor for the ivory tower? In which case we can just put in any professor name that we know. <laughs> Dracula sounds like our best bet so far. Okay, you should say it fast though. We're right there. Our answer is Dracula. Uh, that is uh, incorrect. Uh, computer uh, gets a shot at answer. Heinrich Himmler. And that is incorrect. Um, Okay, and so a uh, human team gets to see search results. You again have 30 seconds. Hitler? Oh, oh they thought it was Hitler, but it turns out it wasn't. 
it says that like in the second season they introduced the man in the high castle in person so it doesn't seem like these search results right yeah uh our answer is hitler uh that is incorrect uh and so uh realm has a final shot edward stark so it uh, did not parse uh man in the high castle as a uh, named entity and is uh, uh this is my favorite wrong answer of the night uh so uh that is incorrect the correct answer is uh hawthorne abinson uh played by uh, stephen root uh from office space in both cases, computers and humans didn't quite realize that this was talking about a specific work titled The Man in the High Castle. TMC tries to give a visual answer to this question, but this is a natural language processing competition, not a computer vision competition. All right, uh, 21 for the humans. Who wrote the majority of the questions in the Federalists? Uh, Seth. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm afraid I cannot accept that as an answer. Uh, what's your name, son? Alexander Hamilton. Very good. Three points. His name was Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> and there's a million things he hasn't done. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right. Uh, question 22. <laughs> Who was enthroned as the first patriarch of the Romanian Orthodox Church <laughs> in 1925? <laughs> Let's see what T5 has to say. Constantine I. That is incorrect. 1925. <laughs> Constantine the first. Wait, Arthur. who is Googling this? <laughs> I don't know. Nick Salau, the first. Uh, incorrect. Uh, all right, uh, DPR subset. Let's see what it has to say. Hopefully the right Pope answer. Pope Pius twelve. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. All right. okay. So we need a Romanian, Romanian name. What's a Romanian name? I don't know. Let's, let's just do Alexander. Oh, that's that's Alexander? Alexander? That's a Romanian name. Is that Romanian? That's that's Alexander. Is that a last like name? Alexander? No. no, it's close <laughs> Wait, I mean, they, it's, they probably don't need a last name. Yeah, it's uh, Alexander the first. We're just going to oh, answer yeah. Alexander? Okay. Yes, Sean, do <laughs> Our it. answer is Alexander. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> He's not going to go now. One day I'm going to get it. We're going to guess correctly. <laughs> One day. <laughs> Myron Christia. That is correct. <laughs> who? Yeah. Who? 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 Who is correct? <laughs> okay. Huh. My least favorite question of this night. <laughs> what is the only state capital not to be a county seat, but to be in a county? Oh. A computer gets first crack, right? <laughs> uh, yes, that is right. Uh, Phoenix. That is incorrect. Arthur. Over. Uh, uh, incorrect. Columbia. Also incorrect. Columbia, what? Montpelier is tiny. Montpelier is the smallest one. And yeah. Vermont's not very big. That Does would Vermont be Montpelier. It's I mean... probably part of whatever county is in them. Like, what are the other cities in Vermont? Oh, OK. So like St. Paul? And or, Minneapolis would be the county seat? Yeah. They are. Yeah. Do it, Sean. OK, our answer is St. Paul. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, let's see what Realm has to say. Atlanta. That is also incorrect. Oh, All right, let's see this. So humans get to see the search results. Lansing. Uh, Lansing. 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 OK. Cool. Our, oh, our answer man. is Lansing. That's uh, real that Mabel vibes. Point. Did someone initially answer, give an answer for a capital in a state that doesn't have counties? Indeed. And yes, uh, that, that, that lost about like five minutes. Uh, shorting <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, no. Hilarious. Funny. People are so funny. Okay, my second least favorite question of the night. Uh, <laughs> how many times <laughs> has England won the Cricket World Cup? Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give an answer? I said 20. No, oh, uh, incorrect. It's humongous. It's definitely high, though. It's twice. High. That is incorrect. I was going to no say way, nine. It's only twice. 
Wait, what about 12? I was going to say like 11. I was going to say like 9. Wait, I think it's more than 9. Points have there been? You got to remember how many teams actually win the cricket world. Yeah, but how many, cr- how many cricket four. world cup, how many cricket world cups have there been? Probably, probably more than 100. 100. What? I should probably not. No Never way, mind. 4, you 4 <laughs> you're right. year history of the cricket world cup. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, Sean, you go ahead and say like 9 or maybe 8. I, I think maybe there's seven. only been like 8 countries ever to win the cricket world cup. I think uh, that was answer, the next Our question. answer is 9. Uh, that is incorrect. So yes, one of these days, died. guys. One of these days. Oh, when they okay. won't guess correctly. Twice. Uh, it's still incorrect. Google tell me. Thank you, computer. Learn from your for, mistakes. Bro, the, 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 our information is going to give us twice. Wait. Uh, okay, okay. okay. One. Once. Four. Four. <laughs> Wait, four. What? Wait, four. four. Wait, no, no, no. Four. No, it's what? No. No, it's four. It's, it's four. Where does Am it I say four? Anything? Okay, count, count them. Count them. Oh, no, they were losing. Right. No, they were losing just once. <laughs> They've only what? won once. They've only won once. Yeah. Wow, dude, our our answer is once. Uh, that is correct. When the data set was collected in 2018, the official gold answer was zero. But since then, England got their first win. In these evaluations, we need to be careful not to penalize systems or teams that have more up-to-date information than our answer keys. Uh, This is why we combine human evaluations of answers with automatic evaluation. That's typically done on leaderboards. Let's go to team B, who couldn't hear the computer because of a technical glitch. Unlike the computers or team E, they know that this question is talking about the book, The Man in the High Cancel, but can't quite get the wording right. While they're more on the right track than any of the computers, the official evaluation metric doesn't give or any points the for the their valiant effort. In the world. And the computer answers this correct. Does anyone know the answer? Is it here? Good here? Uh, Lego. Oh, oh. Uh, I've had this question before. Yeah. Tricky. Okay. All right. Well played, Lego. All well. right. <laughs> so, uh, buzzers ready for the next question. What is the name of the man in the high castle? Time. Oh, okay. Uh, John. Is this not Hitler? Uh, no, it is not. All right. Oh, it's it's the name of the uh, the author who wrote the damn grasshopper lies heavy. I know the <laughs> book. I... Uh, okay, and so the computer answers Hinrich Hinna, which is incorrect. And uh, you have thirty seconds to confer. Is okay. it a Nazi? Is it a Nazi? No, it's the name of no. the of the author of a book called *The Grasshopper Lies Heavy*. It's a, it's like Holly Aber something. It's like a. But in the show, also he's um, he's the guy that they're trying to get the films from. Right, he's the guy who makes the films yeah. in the show. I've never seen uh, it. Ben, what's the name? Holly Aberswith. Go with that. I don't. Have All right, that. our answer is Holly Aberswith. Uh, no, uh, but anyway, uh, good luck. I, I mean, I can't remember his name. It's like Abengal, Abers. It's with an A. It, maybe it's Abernathy. Abernathy's not bad. It, that's his last name. I just don't yeah, remember. Only give the last name. Do not try for the first name. Yeah. All right. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Our answer, I read the book. Our answer, answer is. is I can't remember. Our answer is Abernathy. The various computer answers were uh, Chevalier de, uh, de la Holme, Heinrich Himmler, uh, that we saw, the narrator, and Eddard Stark, which is my favorite uh, wrong answer. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the computer doesn't realize that the man in the high castle is a work of fiction. Jordan, okay. what was the first name of that author? Uh, uh, oh, uh, I thought you were talking about Philip K. Dick, Hawthorne. Hawthorne Abernathy. Okay. No, it's Abinson. So sorry, no <laughs> point. <Damn it. laughs> you, you, right. And a question for the humans. Buzzer ready. All right, John. Freed. Uh, yes, I can take that. Uh, Alan Freed. Good Cleaner. job. Uh, and the computer got that right as well. So it's good that you got that when you did. Okay, when was the last time the Detroit Tigers 
went to the World Series. Computer gets first crack. And uh, it says 1935, which is wrong. So uh, humans, buzz in. Uh, John. 2011. Uh, incorrect. Uh, so now uh, the computers get another chance. Uh, they say 1984. Still wrong. You have 30 seconds to confirm. It's somewhere around 2011. I was going to yeah, go with 2011. It's either like 2012, 2013. They lost. They lost the right. card. Yeah. So I want to say it's 20. Oh, Cardinals. Yeah. Cardinals would have been 13. 13? Yeah, let's do 13. Or is it 12? 13? 13. John, what do you think? I think it's 13, because I think the Giants are the even years. All right. Our answer is 2013. OK, uh, that is incorrect. Uh, um, OK, and the final computer answer uh, is uh, 1968, still wrong. Okay. Um, and so uh, now you have a chance to look at uh, search results. Hmm. Yeah, that's no good. Well, they, uh -huh. So if they won one in 2013, so maybe yeah. it is 2012? Yeah. Well, it's the last time they went. So they if they won, they must have gone later that than was the divisional season. series in 2013 so oh, they 13 have was divisional series yeah so it'd have to be before that so maybe 12 12 12 yeah that's true. i 12. think it happened when i was living in chicago Let, let's go with 22 okay all around it <laughs> our answer is and that is correct all right uh, question 11 who is considered to be the inventor of the prepared piano uh, computers get first shot, and uh, they say Johann Sebastian Bach, which is wrong, so your chance. Uh, ben. Steinway. Uh, incorrect. Uh, uh, this answer is wrong, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, Bartolomeo Cristofori. Still wrong. Uh, you have uh, 30 seconds to discuss. That might be the piano forte, and maybe this is different. I, I don't know what a prepared piano is. I don't either. Does anyone ever do on that? Uh, who, who else makes pianos? Uh, uh, Yamaha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yamaha? Um, Van Cliburn? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we need to guess something. We got five seconds. All right, our answer is Yamaha. Uh, that is incorrect. The here are the search results. Oh, John Cage. John Cage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very um, so it was our more. our answer is John Cage. And that is correct. And the humans take the lead. The humans often discuss the right answer, but the consensus doesn't always surface the right answer. I'll be encouraging the teams who assembled specifically for this competition to practice so that they'll be ready to take on stronger computer teams in December. Uh, when did Rome achieve its independence, independence becoming a republic? Uh, the computer gets first shot, and since this is a date, uh, closest, uh, if nobody gets it, wins. Uh, the computer says 27 BC, which is incorrect, so buzz in if you know it. Uh, Aaron. Uh, 709 BC. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, the computer gets another shot. Uh, it still says 27 BC. Uh, <laughs> and so you have 30 seconds to discuss. I mean, Aaron's right. It's early. It's definitely older. Yeah. yeah. If it's so they're talking about when Tarquinus Superbus goes down and then they 
I'm fuzzy on the dates. I, was I thought that was seven, 709 BC or something. It's 707? 7, 708, 709. Are we trying to get it exactly, Jordan? And now, yes, but if nobody gets it uh, by the end, then whoever is close. Okay, uh, our answer is 709 BC. Uh, that is still incorrect. The computer gets another shot. Um, it's 27 BC again. Uh, I didn't get to see the search results. I guess it's not cheating off our answer. 753? Wait. So the, the, uh, it looks like it's 509. 509, 509 BC? 509. The early Roman thinking, Republic. The pre I was thinking 709. I may be right that the regnal period ends in 509. Right, which means so, yeah, that early Republic 509. Yeah, 509. Okay, our answer is 509. And that He's is correct. Yeah. Cool. Who played the most seasons in NFL history? Uh, computer gets a uh, first crack. Uh, and it is wrong. So buzz in if you know the answer. Aaron. Hallis. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, computers get another chance. It says uh, Bill Belichick, um, which is also incorrect. It's a kind of like a kicker like Vinatieri or Morton Anderson or Morton something. Anderson. I, I like Morton Anderson. Hallis was the oldest, I believe, but maybe yeah, not. Yeah, I liked seasons. him when you said him, but. Hey, you want to go with Morton? Morton Anderson played a lot of seasons. Uh, he's. Oh, uh, About five seconds left. Our answer is Anderson. Uh, that is correct. Two points. Nice. Uh, who was the first person converted to Islam? Uh, Deb. Ali. Uh, oh, uh, good answer, but not uh, the correct one. That is a good uh, answer. The uh, computer uh, also uh, answers that. Uh, <laughs> all right, must be right then. All Sorry. right, uh, but it is not right, so you have 30 seconds to confer. Okay, so what we got here? We, some we other have... options. Um, Abu Bakr, Fatima. Khadija. Khadija. Abu Bakr is interesting. Wasn't he the first caliph? I don't know if that's. But did he? I assume they don't. Yeah. Mohammed. I mean. Mohammed was converted by God directly. I mean that. Yeah, that's I mean that. That's what. Our answer doing. is Mohammed. Uh, uh, not what we were looking for. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sort of exegesis is rather complicated. <laughs> okay, uh, the computer answer is Ali again. Um, okay, and so now um, uh, the human team gets to see the search results. Do you want to go with the white? Um, Khadija. Ah, we should have gone with that. Rats. Okay. Yeah, our, our answer is Khadija. And that is correct. Let's now go to Team C. They had some impressive buzzes that I'd like to share with you. Team C is doing really well on the academic questions here. Uh, who coined the term allopathy for the practice of medicine in 1842? Christian Friedrich Samuel Hahnemann. And that is correct. What? <laughs> <laughs> totally oh, yeah, no, 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 okay, TF Small. Okay, TF Small. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> question how do they how do these questions how do people ask like how are they wondering who came up with the term allopathy there's definitely a question on like one of what somebody's review guide like yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. i know yeah that's what i'm saying it's like definitely people who are taking the same class doing the same worksheet yeah okay right. question 28 what was the treaty that allowed russia to withdraw from uh, World War One after the Russian Revolution in 1917. Treaty of Versailles. That is incorrect. Breslatovsk. Uh, three points. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes I know these. Really All right, hard. and humans take the lead again. Oh, let's uh -oh. go. 
Who was president at the time of the first nuclear test? Conducted? Harry S. Truman. And that is correct. Unfortunate. Is? I, guess, is. I don't remember test. who tested. I guess it was test. in May. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, June, I think, and, uh, uh or FDR, FDR died, uh, died in April, May? regardless. Oh. Uh, Arthur. Okay, uh, Arthur. Lady Gaga. Uh, that is, uh, incorrect. Uh, let's <laughs> that is see much older. E5 has. American like... singer Sky Ferreira. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, you have 30 Damn, seconds. he had American singer at all, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with Ty Ferreira. What is it money for no when was money for nothing? I don't even oh, know what this show I, is. My other guess what? was Christina Aguilera. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Why? <laughs> it's probably, I mean, it's probably old, right? Okay, guess yeah, an old singer. I don't know any old singers. The Beatles. No, the Beatles would not be I don't think they Nat King Cole. Cole. Say Our answer is Cole. Okay, no, that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> what PPR has to say. We're getting a lot of exasperated sighs over here. I, I just feel so old. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that oh, is correct. Ah, there, yeah, there it is. All right, right, and the computer yeah. takes the lead. Not uh, the rest of money for nothing. <laughs> wow, this is going down to the wire, guys. Oh, Dire Straits. Oh, yeah, like wow, we're doing so well. Okay, oh, oh, my God. will oh. no one rid me of this troublesome <laughs> No. Computer oh, gets first crack. Computer gets first crack. Oh. Computer gets first crack. Oh. Hopefully, Jesus. he gets it wrong. Uh, that is incorrect. Arthur, <laughs> yeah. Arthur. Henry the second. Basically, can you be more specific? Uh, according to this answer line. Of England. Thank you. All I right. Uh, where is I... ATP synthase yeah. for oxidative phosphorylation located in the cell? Can we get to buzz? Yes. The mitochondrial membrane. Uh, yes, uh, three points. Oh, yes, we win. Oh, do we win? Oh, we win. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. We'll now see the cricket question again. They gave the official answer from the annotated answer set, so we'll count that as correct. Okay. How many times has England won the <laughs> Cricket World Cup? John. Zero. Uh, that is correct. Three points. <laughs> <laughs> Actually knew that. That wasn't a guess. <laughs> nice. All right. That's a good way to end the yeah. game. So um, I have a final score of 27 humans, uh, 18 for the computers. So uh, human yeah. victory. Congratulations. Well, we've staved off the uh, inevitable computer takeover for another day. Oh. You will be playing against uh, systems that uh, are presumably better than these. Uh, so these, the source code to all these systems have been released. People can build on them, improve them, uh, and hopefully they will have done so uh, by December. So uh, ah. don't be too complacent. So Jordan, I should ask, how does, the, how does the next round work? How do they select who's going to compete? Uh, so the computers will have a similar thing like what's happening right now, except they'll compete to see like what their percentage accuracy is and the top ones uh, that fit into the appropriate size buckets will advance. And then uh, whoever uh, uh, does the best uh, in, in these rounds uh, tonight uh, will, uh, will go on. Uh, and so thus far, uh, you are the uh, best team presented at the uh, Neural Information Processing Systems Conference. We go back to Team D, who recognize that these questions don't have a clear rule on the specificity of the answer and take advantage of that. Uh, the official answer includes 1914, while the computer tries to give a date and year. And last question. Uh, 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 when did the Ottoman Empire declare war on the Allies? December 11th, 1941. Uh, that is incorrect. No. Yeah, it's around uh, about 14 or 19. Buzz in if you know. Preston. 1917. Uh, incorrect. Uh, so, uh, computer gets to go again. November 1914. I will say that that is incorrect. Uh, okay, humans, you have 30 seconds to discuss. 
Okay, okay. so... 1914, <laughs> that it's 1914, seems, but a different yeah, month? 1914 seems pretty likely. I don't know if it's yeah. December or October or what. I mean, I mean, the year is enough. We can just say 1914 without um, getting too specific the way the computer did, right? Yeah, we yeah. could also yeah. say a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, our answer is 1914. And I will take that. All right. Sweet. It's October 29th, 1914. Um, or I could take 1914 as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, final score. I have computers, 25, humans, 22. Ooh. Ooh. Close game. So now let's get a final ranking of the teams. Team E had the largest deficit with an average of negative 0.56 per question heard compared to the computer. Team A had negative 0.2, and Team D had negative 0.1. There were two teams that finished in the black. Team C had 0 0.1 points per question, and Team B had 0 0.4 points per question. We're looking forward to seeing the top players take on the strongest computer systems at NeurIPS. If you think you can do better than these computers, enter your computer system in the online competition link in the description. If you think you know more than our human players, stay tuned. We'll be having more human computer question answering competitions so that we can know whether humans or machines are better at answering questions. Visit quanta.org for more information where quanta stands for our guiding principle, question answering is not a trivial activity.